albatross, the champion flyer. Hello friends, look at this beautiful view, the blue sky, the white fluffy clouds and wait, what is that? Who's snoring in the sky? Aha, look who's sleeping here. It's our dear friend the albatross, one of the greatest flyers in the world. Today, let's find out more about the albatross. Known as the nomads of the ocean, the albatross is an amazing seabird and spends most of their lives at sea. They come to land only to breed. Did you know that the albatross has the largest known wingspan for any bird in the world? Let's talk about the flight of an albatross. So what makes the albatross champion flyers? All species of albatross can use their large wingspans without using their muscles. This enables them to fly without flapping their wings at all. They use the gliding technique to use air currents to their advantage. They can fly for years altogether without touching land. Also, like you saw earlier, it is believed that they can even sleep for short intervals of time while flying. Next, let's talk about how albatrosses find their partners. The albatrosses mate for life. They also exhibit very charming sporting dances to attract a partner. In this ritual, a male and female albatross would come together and do a synchronized dance. One of them would initiate certain movements which are then repeated by the other with great precision. What's more fun about this is these displays can go on up to an hour and that to several times in a day. Once a pair accepts each other, they bond for life. Oh, congrats to Mr. and Mrs. Albatross. Now, let's visit the homes of our dear albatrosses. So when do these dances happen if they're always flying? The albatross come to land only during breeding time. They live in large colonies for breeding. Most of the albatross species live in the southern hemisphere, but a few are found in the northern hemisphere as well. The largest albatross colony on Earth is found on Midway Atoll, a part of a chain of volcanic islands in the North Pacific Ocean. Is seeing an albatross lucky or unlucky? Let's find out. Unknown to our dear albatrosses, they are a part of many myths and superstitions. Sailors considered seeing albatrosses as a sign of good luck because they believe the albatross to be the soul of a lost sailor who was present to protect them and also to bring much needed wings for the ship. However, some cultures considered seeing albatross as a sign of bad things to happen such as an upcoming storm or an imminent death. Phew! Spooky, right? Now let's quickly learn five fun facts about the albatross. Number one, it takes only about two months for a lace and albatross to fly one full circle around the earth. Isn't that awesome? Two, the poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge gave rise to the phrase albatross around the neck, which symbolized an unwanted burden. Three, the wandering albatross and the southern royal albatross are the largest of the albatrosses, and the Indian yellow-nosed albatross is the smallest albatross. Number four, wisdom, a female lacen albatross, is the oldest known wild bird and also the oldest branded bird in the world. That is, it has a small metal or plastic band around its leg to identify it. It is believed that wisdom hatched around the year 1951. And last, but definitely not the least, 
there are 23 different species of albatross and the wandering albatross is the largest flying bird in the world. So that's all for now about the great albatross. We hope this video was informative to you. For more information on the albatross, check out the related topics on Oski Moski. Goodbye and see you in the next video.